Yeah. As, as check giants keep monopolizing user data and storing it in centralized silos, and um, some ethically, ethical and privacy concerns have intensified. Um, why is this moving? Okay. Yeah. Some ethical and privacy concerns have intensified. And um, researchers have proposed solutions to address them, with the key ones we're going to go into today being um, federated learning and solid. Federated learning refers to decentralized machine learning performed across several devices, while solid refers to uh, the centralized web development paradigm um, revolving around personal online data stores, known as pods. The aim of our research today is to, one, evaluate the benefits and challenges of performing federated learning on solid pods, and two, let's keep doing that, and two, provide a technical foundation for future research in this area. So we're going to go into some related work and then go into the, the proposed architecture discussion and then go into some avenues of future work. Now, federated learning was first coined, coined by Google researchers, McMahon and colleagues in 2017. Typical, the typical setting is centralized federated learning where, um, where the data set is distributed across several clients and each client computes local weights and gradients and the central server aggregates these into a global model. Um, we'll also be going into horizontal federated learning where the data is partitioned by samples. Um, as for SOLID, um, SOLID is a decentralized web development paradigm led by Tim Berners-Lee and introduced by Samber and colleagues in 2016. Um, the main concepts and protocols that SOLID, SOLID is based on are, one, personal online data stores, which are data storage server on, under user control. Um, they can be self-deployed or provisioned by a provider and users can easily switch between providers. Um, solid, uh, solid apps directly read and write from these pods. Um, as, for, as for some protocols, um, access of authentication and access control is done through WebID, which, um, so keep doing that, which replaces traditional users and usernames and passwords with browser stored profile information. Um, Data is just represented through RDF, um, the resource description framework, and um, data is queried using linked data platform or optionally on SparkQL. Um, there was only one attempt at previous integration by you and, at, uh, and colleagues in 2022. You um, and colleagues developed a service recommendation system where a hybrid of horizontal and vertical federated learning um, was performed on the solid-based um, personal data cloud. Um, now, the gaps in the research is that there was no literature on the simple case um, for, for performing federated learning on solid pods. Um, uh, for example, either horizontal or vertical federated learning on a straightforward regression, regression or classification problem. Um, you and colleagues don't, don't also um, don't detail really how the system was developed and didn't provide any um, execution speed me measurements for demonstrating feasibility. So we're going to go into the proposed architecture. Um, so this process happens in several steps. Step one is that the user will authorize the, the um, federated learning client application. Keep doing that. Yeah, sorry. Step one is that the user will authorize the federated learning client application to access all data from their pod by adding the client's web ID to the pod's access control list. Um, step two, the client application will access the user's raw data from the pod. Step three, the client application will perform local updates and store the resulting gradients and weights in the user's pod. Step four, the client will add the service web ID to the pod's access control list, only authorizing access to these local model updates. Um, and then the client will also notify the server to expect the local updates from the pod. Step five, step five, sorry. The server requests and then accesses the gradients away from the user's pod. And then step six, the server will average the local updates into, into, a, global, uh, into a global model. Now, why are we, on, why are we um, allowing coordinated servers to only access local updates? Um, enabling the cord, um, coordinating servers to only access these local model updates allows for mul multiple separate um, federated learning processes to be performed. Um, each process would have its own coordinating server, which 
access is gradient of weights from pods that each user allows the server to have access to. Um, so this will allow this this will allow us to users to per participate in building one or more federated learning models based on different parts of the data in their pod if they so choose. This basically ensures sovereignty of the pod owners as they can choose which FL projects would they wish to participate in without providing any party with full access to their data. Now, benefit is main benefit is license security. Um, as the raw data stays, sorry, the raw data stays in pods and never reaches the central server, um, which basically renders a large scale data breach infeasible. Um, some challenges include data format cert standardization. Um, users have to upload data in such a in in a standardized way so that the FL process can go smoothly. Um, another challenge is scalability. Accessing data data from solid pods introduces additional over, overhead to the federated learning system. And this latency could be more, more pronounced in large scale experiments and real world environments. Now, to conclude, um, we achieved our aims of evaluating benefits and challenges of performing FL on solid pods and provide a technical foundation for future research. Some avenues for further exploration include um, domain specific applications. Um, by applying um, FL and solid integration research to domains where it's applicable, for example, um, healthcare, banking, and inter Internet of Things could benefit from the security advantages of, of this research. Um, we could discern, discern um, the data specific effectiveness of performing um, federated learning on solid pods as well as uncover any challenges that may not be apparent in a more generalized approach. Um, next, for, exper for experimentation and transition to practical application. Um, a, a proof of concept of this architecture um, that we propose should be implemented in order to evalu further evaluate feasibility. After this, um, transitioning, transitioning from controlled simulations to a real world scenario, where, actual, where we have actual users, each, each equipped with their own solid pod, and federated learning client, client app, this could what this could offer some invaluable insights. Now, future research also needs to address the security vul vulnerabilities of federated learning and solid. Um, federated learning has two main security vul vulnerabilities: data poisoning, where malicious data is injected in order to decrease model accuracy, and model inversion, which is an even greater concern as our system re relies on um, only only um, this, the coordinating server only accessing um, gradients and weights, and data can be partially reconstructed based on this. Um, as for solid, um, there's no support for access logs that, that are required for like security and privacy audits, and there's not much cryptographic protection of data other than HTTPS. So these are some avenues for future exploration. Um, that pretty much brings us to the end of my presentation. Um, so I'm going to open up the four questions. Thank you.